Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So, we are progressing slowly with the 1000 percentage difficulty challenge. And if you are liking the series so far, please consider to push the like button and subscribe if you want. Because there will be more Surviving Mars stuff in the future. Okay, so, we are working our way. We established this dome, but we haven't populated it, and there was a reason for that. Yes, because there is no research facility here. At least not yet, but uh, soon we will change that. Still, we have to, have to populate it because we have a lot of uh, people in this dome, and we don't want to get into the birth threshold penalty. We also have this rocket ready to run launch. Oh! If it's ready to launch, then get that breakthrough. Does it mean that the research rate will be dropped? Because one of our explorer is away? No. Okay. I'm happy with that. And yes, I, I believe, yeah, we are cold hard on approaching. Uh, producing electronics. Now a cold wave is approaching. Now that's an interesting one. What? Oh! Hell no! Okay. And we are clearing it. And we need a security tower or station. They went a little bit too far there. Snatching a few things Rating here and discovered. there is okay. Space rehabilitation. Okay, that's that's useless. That's useless in this scenario. Wow. Oh, reduces sanity loss from disasters for all reticents. I wasn't aware of that. And we have a lot of renegades here. Go away. We have a hefty... A hefty amount of metal maintenance. Maybe this is not enough. Okay, maybe we should collect a little bit of more uh, metals. Just to be in the safe side. And we have an approaching cold wave. Sector scanned. We'll see how how the power grid will hold out. And let's build quickly two oxygen tanks here. I think I wait one more day, or one more one more soul, and then we can build the research facility and move people here. I think we will start with five from here. We need this security station because I don't want that the renegades will blow up 
uh, some of the factories. Oh, on that note, maybe we should research this as quickly as, as possible, if, because if they damage, well, we can rebuild it, so that's an option. Well, maybe we can rebuild it because we had the technology to do that. And we will have to, I think, uh, in the long run, we will move one of the factories over here so we can put more buildings Sector for well-being down there. Okay, I, I, but I hope at least we, we prepare for the cold wave, cold wave, I hope. The rover is safe for now, okay. Then let's scan a few more on the map, a few more map tiles. Frozen batteries, the morning is uh, particularly chilly. Shipping, uh, sipping your cup of tea, you survey the frozen landscape just time to see the uh, warning lights of several accumulators flash red. The temperature have dropped to a new all-time low, well, uh, well outside the operational range of our power accumulators. Existing batteries will shut down and stop working for the duration of the cold wave unless we do something quickly. Let's uh, install uh, each accumulator we'll need. We can manage without our power reserves for now. Our colonists are suffering. Okay. We have hypothermia there. That's not good. Hmm. It's during night time. No, I want to switch off this. Okay, we don't have... Okay, maybe that was a bad decision. You know what? Since we still have enough... Uh... Can be a sign. Well, then she will die. I can't do anything about it. Now we survived the cold wave and we populated this do uh, dorm uh, successfully. And first time in in this challenge, now we have research. Sector scanned. Which can help us. So that's great. And I realized that we have a social crisis. Because we have 22 renegades. From 50 people. Also highest population so far. Or 51. But uh, let's uh, deduct the 7 children. That's 40, 44. So... 50% of the population is renegade. That's a problem. Now, I hope that this farm can sustain two, uh, two dome worth of Research people. Complete. Because I cannot afford a farm here. I'd rather build more research facilities.
Yeah, and we we did this amplify thing to increase the metal uh, extraction. Also, I'm I'm now trying to remove a lot of uh, heavy workload. Maybe that will help us with the renegade situation. find a renegade just want to learn more about that condition wow renegade Wow, but I don't know. Yes, yeah, sanity and uh, the comfort is low. Yeah, that's because I have to cram everything in this dome. Okay, let's see if we can build a third dome around here. If we move that away, sector scanned. Maybe it's possible. <laughs> and I also want to research a lot of uh, social technology. which can help us and now I have to go and bring more wow we need 10 metals a day for a soul that's a problem okay first of all let's remove these guys We have too many solar panels. And let's remove these guys as well. Well... We kinda need those. Go there and collect metal and I will bring you back. I also start... Uh, I want to start uh, terraforming Mars. But maybe it's, it's too early. So let's do social stuff. Okay, an electrostatic dust storm has reached us. And now we will be fighting with the leaks for four days. We have a couple of well valves installed, so hopefully that will help to protect the reserves. And I'm thinking of moving the farm here, or building a farm here as well. And a colonist has died. Oh, what happened? Oh, probably he was shot down by, uh, with the security guard. 
okay guys we have a couple of more problems first of all we have run out of food and this uh, farm was destroyed which is bad because it has a high soil, uh, soil quality so we need we needing two farms now and now i'm just building up the things so we can have enough water for them also i decided to close this polymer factory and open a new one here so when this resources uh, are low when these domes uh, population is maxing out they can for concentrating on working on these two factories and this uh, domes population will work in this factory also it turned out uh, because of the rebel yell uh, rule if we have Sector more than scanning. 15 colonists in the dome they, there will be rebels so there's that and now i just send it this rocket uh, for capturing mete meteors to have a few things and also we are slowly running out of concrete so i had to do this and it hinges on the commander uh, to make this uh, thing function and we this have a food shortage our colonists are starving troubling And they will be starved for a couple of days. Hopefully this harvest will solve some of the problems. What? You are connected. What are you talking about? Cold wave approaching. And we have an incoming cold wave. Great. Just one more soul and there will be food. Oh, that's just great. You're starving, so you're destroying the diner. Some logic there. But that means the upgrade is also destroyed. Okay, it's not worth to invest in service bots because the buildings will be destroyed either way. Damn it. Okay, leak detected there. Oh, that's just great. Now I I know that the meteor Resources are low. Wow. Anomaly found. Let's save for the meteor storm. Uh, 
have an anomaly there and there. Okay, at the end of this soul there will be food. This three more soul. But if I just do wheat, that won't be enough. Sector scanned. And I think one food is uh, enough for ten colonists. Ah, we are doing the general training. That's good. And I don't know what to do next. Well, what's in the list? Maybe, maybe not the productivity training. A lot of colonists are starving. Yeah, they are starving here as well now. Come on, make that harvest. What? Okay. I, I know what. Don't you worry about it. We have to turn off all the Amplify things. Okay. What? Of course, because of the moisture evaporators. We have a lot of moisture evaporators. Okay. Stored water lasts for five days. We need metal to repair uh, them. So let's turn off a few moisture evaporators. And the diner is the one that doesn't get enough electric electricity. Damn. Okay, I have to the machine parts factory. We have to stop this one. Because that's the biggest chunk. has died from starvation probably come on oh we don't have uh... there now we have now works our workplace go a colonist has died damn it bring them food come on okay Of course, destroy the sensor towers. Okay, we have no water here. And why is that? Mm -hmm. 
damn it because these yeah these are frozen oh okay I forgot and this valve is also closed Okay, the night is scary. Not enough power. And we low on polymers. Okay, we have, we can have a solution. We need the nuclear, nuclear fusion and we need this upgrade, the eternal fusion. And that can solve our power problems. Sector scanned. It won't be a good. Okay, we need more power, especially during daytime. No, I just, but this is only consuming 10 power, that's not much. This is third, that's significant. But the polymers mean I, I don't know it it will cost us a lot of polymer but it also needs water okay that's the solution they turn this thing off Can turn this thing off as well. Okay, we are in an afternoon shift and we still cannot uh, just minimal power that's not good that's not good We have to build three wind turbines. A colonist has died. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
Well, I think this is the... This is the point where everything is falling Need apart. Incoming. I don't care about that. The recent colonist deaths. A colonist has died. And I hate that this is happens every time that we are... W w what? Of course, because a lot of death colonists. Oh, these guys also turned off. Four more souls. A colonist has died. Okay, I think this is the point when everything is falling apart. A colonist has died. Okay, uh, I think I will restart just from the previous save in the next episode because uh, I think that the main problem was that uh, we haven't built this farm early on. That was the main problem. So uh, I will do that. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I couldn't say I really enjoyed it, but I think we, we learned again something uh, we will see I don't know at this point I am not entirely sure I'm, I'm sure I don't want to restart it now because A uh, has died. I managed to solve the population problem so we are getting uh, our workforce so I don't know I truly don't know and I also at least know how renegades work that in rebel yell you you don't you don't do uh, about anything it's just there it is at some at some po at some point uh, buildings will be blown up and that's the way it is we have to put security stations uh, all around which also consumes uh, manpower Okay, I'm scratching my head a little bit, and I, I we see if we can avoid this crisis. And if we can, well, we'll see what happens next. But uh, our metal uh, and uh, machine parts uh, situation is also not very good. It's okay for now, but in the future, basically we need a dome here. And it's quite a distance. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, still, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.